this morning. Hallelujah. Come reaching out to the Lord. Hallelujah. That we can receive what he has for us this morning. How many love Jesus this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all praises. Hallelujah. So come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Hallelujah. So come on and magnify him this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and bless the Lord real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many know it's a blessing to be here this morning? One more time, this is home thing. It's just a blessing. Hallelujah. How many feel like pressing on this morning? Through all that you're going through. Hallelujah, we yet got to have a press down on the inside. Others are come on and give him some praise this morning. Come on and shout him out of praise. Come on and shout him out the highest praise this morning.
service. Thank God, amen, for prayer, yeah. and thank God for praise. How many know we owe God praise? Yeah. Bible says praise is coming for the saints. We got so much to be thankful for, amen, in this evil day that we're living in, and we thank God, amen, for all of his goodness this morning. We'd like to stop and give all to our pastor, Pastor Anderson. Come on, put your hands together for her this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the stand. Thank God, amen. Brother and Sister Barbara, you know what's your name? Praise God to be here in this Saturday service. Amen. Just thank God for everybody to press the way out. Thank God for Brother Dave. This amen, always faithful. Amen. And to all those that's late, Sister Dave, this is Sister Keisha this morning, Sister Deborah, Sister Essie. Amen. On post this morning. Thank God for Mother Nance coming in. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody else, amen, in the congregation this morning. Thank God for the children this morning. Amen. amen. Thank God, amen, for them. Amen. And glory to God. We just give God thanks, amen, for all that he's doing. Amen. And it's just a blessing, amen, to be alive. And it's a blessing to know Jesus in this time that we're living in. Do you love the Lord this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We just thought, amen, there's just a few of us here, but Jesus is present. Amen. That's all it takes. We're two or three gathered in his name. Amen. He promised he'll be in the midst. So, amen. We yet give him praise and yet give him thanks. Hallelujah. Glory to God because he's the one that have aided us. Amen. That have blessed us and saved us and kept us. Amen. And that's yet faith, oh, amen. So we at this time, we're just going to, amen, give opportunity. Everybody got a testimony. Thank God for my mother coming in this morning. Amen. We thank God for all our mothers, those that's absent. Amen. To all the ministers of the gospel. Come on, clap your hands for Mother Dance as she comes. Praise God. You know, I praise God for being here this morning. You know, God is just so good to, I want to take this thing personally. All right, all right. He good to me. Yes. He woke me up this morning. He gave me a mind to be in the house of God. Yes. You know, so many people don't have a mind to be in church. Amen. You know, I invite some folks and all that, you know. But people, you know, they just don't seem to love the house of God anymore. Amen. Whatever they reason. But anyway, it's God's house. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just thank God for how he has kept me down through the years. I just thank him because of his mercy and grace. It's nothing good that I've done, but it's the goodness of Jesus Christ. I thank God that he saved me when I was young. You know, I look at these young people like my daughter be on the platform. Y'all forgive me, I can't think of y'all's name. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. But I thank God for the young people that are dedicated to God. I mean, it's an inspiration to me. And I was telling somebody about these young people, how they get in here and pray, you know, sometimes you got to provoke people. Uh -huh. You know, provoke them for good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Praise God. Ain't every, all the young people out here in the street doing evil. That's right. It's just like ain't all us old folks That's out right. here. That's Praise right. God. Right. Thank you, Jesus, because I don't find out some of us older folks, we were some of the young folks. <laughs> Since I moved over there in that apartment where I am, I done find out a lot of things that I didn't know. 
Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. And I just want to thank God that he's given me a mind to keep pressing. Amen. This ain't no time to stop. This is the time to pray. Amen. Like a woman in travail and having a child. Amen. We got to press our way. Amen. We got to be determined. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Amen. Oh, God Almighty. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Last week when I came to church, I didn't even feel like, a lot of times you see me sitting down, I don't even feel like, I feel like I'm going to faint sometimes just standing up. But you know, as I say, you got to press your way. You know, and after I don't got dressed, I still was, the enemy was trying to hold me back and want me to stay at home. I said, the devil is a lie. I ain't staying home. Because if I stay home, he's going to bother me. If I go to church, he's going to Hallelujah. Amen. So I'd rather be in the house of God. Amen. And I want to thank my sister, thank my, uh, my pastor, Sister Anderson. Praise God. You know, I'm not disregarding nobody. It's just everybody got their own way of testifying. That's right. I'm not trying to do like nobody else. That's, right. That's one thing God has helped me with. Don't try to be like other folks. Amen. Praise yeah, God, let's yeah, be yeah. like I want you to that's be. Right. Yeah, and that's right. most important Amen. when we obey God. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. And I thank God for the teaching. I told somebody about these young people, how they come in here and teach in this word. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Glory to God. The devil has not deceived him. God still got his sheep. God still got people that love him. Amen. Hallelujah. You always going to have somebody that love him. Because I love him. Amen. I wouldn't trade Jesus. I don't know nothing in this world that I'll trade Jesus for. Amen. Praise God. Because he the love of my soul. He the strength of my life. Amen. He the joy of my salvation. Yeah. He my hope for my hope. For Amen. tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. He's everything to me, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I think about it. One time I, I was laying on my couch, and that's been a few years ago. And um, when I woke up, I felt like a knife was spiritsing through my whole chest, and I couldn't move. And I tried and I tried to get up, and finally I did. And um, didn't know what was going on with me at that time. But I believe I got a cab. I can't remember every word, everything. But I believe I got a cab and went to the emergency room. And when I got there, they seemed like they were going to never get to me. Praise God. But find out after running tests that I had a blood clot in my lungs. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. And I thank God. Praise God. And they kept me in the hospital for about 13 days. I had to get somebody to keep my children and everything. Praise the Lord. And thank God. And you know, sometimes when God does things for us, Sometimes we ain't got sense enough to know it. I'm just talking, telling the truth, and I'm talking about myself. I didn't have sense enough to know that when I, I had a minister to pray for me and, 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 and everything, and I didn't know what I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. If y'all don't mind, I want to go back. But anyway, um, before all that happened, um, I told the doctor, he said, well, we're going to keep you in the hospital because you got a blood clot in your lungs and it's coming from you, your, your leg. And he said, we're going to keep you in here. And I told the doctor I had to go home. And he told me, he said, well, if you go home and that blood vessel break, you dead. But I either was crazy I had faith in God, one or the other. Because you might do have to be crazy just about, really? Faith is crazy. 
Hallelujah. Y'all may not come to say anything, but I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, I went on home. And when I got home for see, it was the will of God for me to go home. I didn't know that. But I went home because I love my children. You know, a good mother, she gonna take care of her children. Amen. I mean, some of these mothers today, oh, have mercy. But anyway, I said, I'm going home, and I went home, and when I went home and got there, and I started coughing, I didn't know I had coughed up the blood cough. But I coughed the Lord. Oh, mm. This is the truth, y'all. I can see you, see that blood clog in my mind. You know, when God does something for you, it don't go from your mind. You may forget for a little bit, but it don't go from your mind. That's something there. It's just like the day you got saved, it's there. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Do not know I was <laughs> so crazy. I didn't know God had to deliver me. And I went right to the hospital. They kept me, kept me, kept me in 19 days, y'all. And night. They never could find the blood clot. You know why I done coughed it up? Saints, I do. I just, I'm just so excited, man. If only if you knew. Woo. God is a good God. Ain't he good, mother man? Man, he working everywhere. He ain't just working in Dothan. He working in Africa. He working all over this land. He working everywhere. Hallelujah, man. I was listening to a service on the way here this morning. The man of God. And Pastor, you know, the man of God, I'm talking about the word was so refreshing, I thought he was still him. <laughs> Amen. I'm telling you, the word, man, the word was so refreshing, I thought it was him. That's how good that word was. Man, he was preaching and teaching, telling us about the, the, the preachers, how we got to teach these young people. How we got it, you know, back in the days when, when he was coming up, how they taught the young people that they could be devil chasers, yes. that they can heal the sick, yes. that they can yes. pray and open blinded eyes. Yes. You know, a lot of churches ain't teaching that. Yes. They binding the peoples up. Yes. But young people, old people, we the older people know. But the young people don't know. And, and God said he's going to pour out the spirit on everybody. Everybody, we got to teach them. We got to tell them that, hey, 
Even the common believer yeah. gonna cast out devils. Yeah. Even the common believers gonna heal oh. the person that's sick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, God good. Yeah. We serving a good God. Yeah. Man, I ain't, I don't want no God that you got to um, burn yourself and do all this cutting on yourself Amen. and light of incense and do all this stuff. I mean, I like Jesus. Amen. I'm in love with Jesus. Yeah. I'm in love. With all I got to do is get filled with the altar. Get down there and pray and call on his name. Mm -hmm. And he'll appear. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. glory. Man, I'm like, Mother Dance, I'm excited about these young people. Yeah. Man, to see Brother Kyrie and all my sisters, young people as I am, living for Jesus. Yeah. Praising the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And never, don't, don't get in your mind who ain't coming, who ain't young. Right. Jesus got who he want him. Because if you want him here, they'll be him. He got who he want him. That's how you got to look at it. Don't worry, don't get, see, a lot of people get discouraged. And they, you know, oh, God, uh-uh, no, yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Because God got a word for somebody in here today. God got a healing for somebody in here today. God got a deliverance for somebody in here today. Hallelujah. Man, I believe it. I got that faith like Sister Nan, that crazy faith. All right. Going out on a car lot if you want to go to a car lot. Go to a house that you want to walk around and pray. That's the kind of faith you got to have. Uh -huh. That faith. Yeah. Believe and trust yeah. and know what God will. Yeah. Man, that man, they let that man down in that house. Yeah. Because of his praying faith, that man got up and walked. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. You got to believe. Yeah. You got to believe that God is. Yeah. You got to believe that God can do it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my brother right here, he didn't give up. He knew that word that was spoken to him. He knew that word was in, in, in his bones. And his body made him get up. Yeah. Get up from him. Like them lepers said, why we lay here and die? Get up, let's go. Yeah. If we go in there, they're going to kill us anyway, so get up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got to have that type of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, I want that faith. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm praying and seeking and fasting for that faith yeah. that was once delivered to them saints. Yeah. That was once delivered to the saints of God. Yeah. That faith, no matter what, don't, don't, I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what it looks like. You trust knowing that God is he there. Amen. He right here. Yeah. He in the house today. Yeah. He right here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He here, I feel him. Yeah. I feel him in my bones. Yeah. I feel him all over me, Pastor. But it ain't my day. It's my wife's day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. Man, I feel Jesus. But when that word is, he going to come out. Amen. It stir you up. Amen. Hallelujah. But I ain't going to prolong. I thank God for Jesus. Thank God for my wife. I may have got a wife that stay on your neck. <laughs> Huh? Your wife gonna stay on you, bro? Mine do. I thank God for that. Yeah. Uh -huh, no, just stay on you. Push. Keep on. Come on, man. Yeah. Y'all push me. Yeah. Come on. You know what we got to do. You know what God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Not lay there and just sit there and just constantly just you know being yeah. your mind just just watching God in life, watching this and doing that. <laughs> that ain't gonna get nobody saved. Yeah. That ain't gonna deliver nobody. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't gonna deliver nobody. Go in that room and go in there and get on your knees and seek the Lord. Amen. Go in there. We need something for these people. Yeah. We need something for these people. Yeah. We need something for God people. Mm -hmm. They hungry. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for my wife. I thank God for Pastor Anderson. Yeah. Thank God for the stand that she takes. Man, I know she, you know, she ain't with all that praising and stuff like that, but I just thank God for her. Amen. For a great woman of God. Amen. He can, and he can leave you out here. A great, a faithful man. Amen. A faithful man standing in the gap with Pastor. Amen. Standing there with him. No matter what the people say, I don't ever talk about him. He's still here, standing in the gap. Keep standing, bro. Amen. Keep standing. Keep Amen. on standing. Amen. Don't worry about what people say. Amen. You know, I never say what the Lord say I am. But I know. You understand what I'm saying? 
I ain't worried about what people say. Oh, he think he's such and such. You think he did. Don't you worry about that. Mm -hmm. You what God, ever, whatever God say you is, that's what you is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I ain't got to go around broadcasting. Amen. It's going to come out. Amen. It's in there. It's going to come out. Amen. But I thank God for Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for my wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for a woman of God. A woman that stands for the truth. Amen. A woman that don't like to be bound. Hallelujah. A woman that don't like to be controlled. Just love Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, a woman that don't take no chalk from the devil. Hallelujah. 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 I thank God for my wife, Sister Jessica Ball.
him, but it's he that cares for us. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are the praise and sign of the Roma. Praise is coming for the saints. When the praise is Glory to God. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. But guess what? 
I'm a son of the most high God. Because in Jesus, there's neither male nor female. And he's on the inside of me. The Holy Ghost dwells inside of me. And I don't have to fear no devil. He gave us power over all the power of the devil. And I've been asking, Lord, show me how to use my power. Because I'm going to wreak havoc in his kingdom. We're going to tear his kingdom down. We're going to pray his kingdom down. We're going to fast his kingdom down. I'm going to read this Bible, these scriptures. We're going to speak the word to his kingdom come down. It is already won. We should be walking the streets, tearing his kingdom down. When Pastor Lim first came to Dothan, what did y'all do? They were all up there at the Red Fox somewhere preaching the gospel. (laughs) Standing in front of free world. You know what I'm saying? Preaching the gospel that time of night. And I remember one time I went to the club. I, you know, I wasn't saved. But my sister, they were halfway saved. I'm standing outside the club. The church bus pull up. They had been bowling, midnight bowling. Everybody on the church bus said, Juicy, come to the church. I was so embarrassed. Oh, I was so embarrassed. And I said, Lord, my sister said, what about her trembling? I'm the oldest, and I'm out here trembling. She got my children on the church bus. That was my they rolled right up the southern night. Take us a game. <laughs> they won't finish. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. But it does something to me. Amen. To see my little sister living for God. And I'm out here shucking and jabbing, peeping and hiding, slipping and sliding, just cutting corners and doing whatever I thought I was bad enough to do in the devil's name. And I said, Lord, my little sister, man, I dog, I gotta do better. You're gonna have to save me, Jesus. Mm-hmm. And he did. Yes, he you know, those little bitty things that kind of prick your heart. You never know how Jesus has sent somebody mm-hmm. to stir that word up in you, yeah. to stir up what's in you mm-hmm. that's done been planted mm-hmm. from a child. Mm-hmm. You don't know how people's situations, how they sit alone at night mm-hmm. thinking, dog. I don't want to do it no more. Mm-hmm. And I said I wasn't going to do it last night, but I'm right back here at this spot again. Mm-hmm. Only God knows the heart of me. Mm-hmm. That's why we got to show love. Mm-hmm. Love right. overcomes a multitude yeah. of faults. Right. It does not hold nobody faults to them. Mm-hmm. It does not keep talking about what you did. Amen. The only way I talk about what I did is if it's in my testimony. Yeah. I don't look back because if the people that he delivered out of the land of Egypt, they would have looked back, they probably would have went back. Right. And I, he said those things were written for our example. Right. We ain't got no business looking back. Amen. We ain't got no business saying, dog, I had more when I was out there doing this and that mm-hmm. than I got now. Because guess what? You're going to mess around and be moonwalking. Mm-hmm. You're going to mess around and go to the trap. Mm-hmm. You're going to mess around and be sitting in the dope house, throwing the line, mm-hmm. popping a pill, mm-hmm. smoking a pipe. You can't look back. Amen. Wait that God tell you to go strengthen your brother. Yeah. He said, Terry mm-hmm. in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Get to the church and get on your knees. Yeah. When do we come to the church all night and lay in prayer? Mm-hmm. Well, can't nobody see us. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't get no recognition. Mm-hmm. When do we come do that? Mm-hmm. All you got to do is call pastor. She'll send somebody to let you in. Amen. Ain't nobody here to give you no accolades about being right, in prayer right, right, till the sun come up. Right. We, we, we got a dedicated prayer time, but when we going to go beyond 30 minutes to an hour that we've been doing for 3, 6, 20 years? Amen. We've been coming to the house of God praying. You got to press. Yeah. This is a fight. This is a press. Yeah. You got to press out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You got to press out of where you feel comfortable at. I've been learning to pray till I go through. I can feel myself going through. I can feel the powers and the elements in that second heaven busting open. I can feel my prayer reaching the thought of grace. Yeah. But I have to fight. I have to cry. Yeah. I have to get up, walk around. I have to come back and get back with it. Because yeah. I need God to save my children. Yeah. I need God to remember the promises that he made. Amen. But I remember the stipulation that he gave. All right. Every promise comes with a stipulation. Yeah. Glory to yeah. God. Thank you, Jesus. He's faithful, but are we faithful? Amen. Even when we ain't faithful, he's still faithful. Amen. But when are we going to get faithful? Mm-hmm. Faithful that well, can't nobody say they sure less faithful. Mm-hmm. They sure did do this. The kind of faithfulness don't, don't get the microphone and tell you what you done done for somebody else. Right. They don't tell your arms to be seen before men. Mm-hmm. But do it in secret. But whatever you do in secret, your father, which is in heaven, will reward you openly. How many people go about doing good just knock on a random stranger door? 
and give them a bag of groceries. How many know people got little kids and they ain't making it? But you go to Walmart or wherever you go and you go shopping. And you just drop them clothes off at their house. Because you know their parents bound on drugs and alcohol. You know they ain't got the money. When you know your brother have need of these things, ain't no need of saying be warm, be clothed, and send them away empty handed. That's the word. We got to become living epistles. We got to become this living word of God. We can't do it with partiality. We can't do it with respect to person. Because the love of God will shed abroad in your hearts by the Holy Ghost. But one thing about it, the Holy Ghost is given to them that obey him. It comes to obedience. You got to be willing and obedient to eat the good of the land. You can't do this grudgingly. You can't do this because somebody else is doing it. You can't do it because it seems like a good idea or because I want that man or I want that woman. But this got to be birthed in your heart. It's something down on the inside got to be stirred up that's got to bring forth the life of Christ in you. And when the life of Christ is manifested in us, it begins to reach out. It begins to reach out to the sinner. Yes. It begins to reach out to the drunk. Yes. The man sleeping up under the bridge. Yeah. It begins to reach out to the whores and the prostitutes. Yes. You know they laying on their back because they want that dope. But Amen. there's a monkey on their back. There's a yoke on their neck. And that devil dragging them with a chain. Amen. Ask me how I know. Amen. Ask me how I know. When I, in 2007, when I was trying my best, I made up in my mind, and I told the Lord, I said, if, if, if I die, this time I know I, I really tried, but nobody there but me in that old house, sitting on a mattress that I got from the rescue mission. I didn't have no toilet. One of my friend's brother had to come put a toilet in for me. Well, no kitchen counters. Sister Sharon and her husband lived in Panama City. He came and put a countertop in there for me and a sink. Wasn't no running water, but in the tub. Wasn't no heat, and it was terribly hot that summer. So when me and my children had to strip down to our underwear, just to make it. But I told the Lord, I had made up my mind. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this Jesus, Pastor Anderson, we call it Sister Anderson and, and Mama talking about, but you're gonna have to show me that you is who you be. Mm -hmm. Cause I ain't never scared. I ain't scared of nothing. I'll sue up in my own black and walk all night. <laughs> and let me tell you something, he showed me the demon. And my children can testify to it. And another young lady that lived there. This thing, I would be praying, struggling, but I could, he would drop down in the floor like a boom. The whole house would shake because it wasn't made out of nothing. You could see through the cracks, you could see outside, you could see the ground, whatever. And he would drag chains. And you could hear them seem like they was big and thick chains. And like they would just scrub in the ground. And we would be calling on Jesus. We would be pleading the blood of Jesus. But I made up in my mind I was in the fight that he could not have me back. Whomever he was, he couldn't have me back. Because I was sold out to follow Jesus. And I told Jesus if I die, what the hell? This time in my heart, I'm going to know I tried. And you got to have a well made up mind. Because you're going to go through everything. Everything. I found out every time I sinned, I opened a crack for the devil to come in. I smoked a blunt one night. The next morning, my son got hit by a car. I drunk some gin with lemon in it one day. We couldn't find my five-year-old daughter. She didn't get on the bus. <laughs> we went to the school. The school said she went there. We called her. Well, I called her because there wasn't nobody there but me. But I went up to the school, and I said, we're going to look for it. Because I had been calling on Jesus. I said, I'm in this city. I ain't got no family. Ain't nobody with me and my little children. She was sitting in a classroom, in her classroom, in her desk, in the dark. Mm -hmm. She said, they forgot I was in mm -hmm. But God. But God. But God. I smoke a cigarette. My other daughter got hit by a car. Mm -hmm. 
So I figured out. <laughs> Every time I done something I wasn't supposed to do, the demon came. So I said, okay, self. Every time you do something that this word say you ain't supposed to do, the devil come and he mess with your children. You know, he torments your mind. And that taught me to stop doing his stuff. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. Because he don't mean you no good. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for how he brought me. Because mm -hmm. he let me experience real time. Mm -hmm. He didn't let, let me experience my trials face to face. And he taught me in that way because he needed to teach me. Yeah. Uh, one night I smoked the blood and I ran out the house with my clothes in my hand. My mama called Pastor Anderson. They said, go back in that house and tell the devil, I don't know who they think they talking to. Uh-oh. I'm driving down the street with on my clothes. And I, I went and sat at this lady's house. And I turned to the book of Matthew. And I began to read. And I read for about two hours. And I went back to that house. And I went to anointing it. And I went to telling the devil what he can do. And I slept peace. But that word had to get on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. That word had to give me the courage and the help. Yes. You can't make it without this word. Amen. It is your strength. Yes. It is your comfort. Yes. It'll come up in a time of need. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and give him a hand clap. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, we're going to go through something when you start seeking the Lord. When you decide you won't. You're not happy with just coming to church. Mm -hmm. You're not happy with just a little prayer, mm -hmm. a little anointing with joy. Mm -hmm. You're going to go through something. Mm -hmm. I almost got into some terrible accidents twice last week. But God, mm -hmm. I was sitting there in real time watching the hand of the Lord move those vehicles. Move that dump truck. Cause he's a good God. Yeah. The devil will do things to try to make you pull back. And he, he used to, I would be seeking God. And then my word, I'm telling y'all, giant spiders, I'll wake up and they'll be running across my ceiling or dropping a, a, a red and black net down over me. And I'll be screaming the blood of Jesus. That's from Jim. Plenty of nights I wake up screaming and hollering, speaking in tongues because of what I'm seeing. But I learned. The battle is already won. Amen. All I got to do is put myself where I'm supposed to be on the battlefield. Yeah. Glory to God. That's all you got to do. Give Amen. Jesus a hand clap. Amen. Amen. I want to read y'all something. I always want to read y'all a promise that God has given us. Because he is God. Mm -hmm. And you got to know what the promises are. Mm -hmm. It's the reason why we do this. It's in Isaiah 56, chapter 56. But every promise has a stipulation. You just ain't going to get it because you think you deserve it, or we think we deserve it, mm -hmm. or just because he said it. Because if you keep reading, you'll know what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 56. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice. For my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. So what we got to do? This Q and A. What we got to do? Keep judgment and do justice. Mm -hmm. Do what he say. Do keep his word. Do what's right. Blessed is the man that doeth this, mm -hmm. and the son of man that lay hold on it. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that keeps the Sabbath from pollution. And keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Mm -hmm. This is an automatic blessing. It's automatic if you keep the Sabbath day. If you keep it the way he say keep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do good mm -hmm. on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Go tell somebody about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't be so busy going about doing our own stuff. Right. You know, a lot of people work all week. So Saturday is their day to clean, day to do this, day to do that. But I found out that house still gonna be the same way if I wake the sun. <laughs> ain't nothing gonna happen if I don't do it Saturday. Ain't nobody gonna kill me. 
Ain't no, you know, ain't nothing straight. Ain't nobody show sure gonna break in and clean it for me. So, you know, it's still gonna be there Sunday when I wake up. You know, just do what God tell us to do. Yeah. He said, neither the son of a stranger. I said, that's me. They had joined himself to the Lord. Because we were strangers. Mm -hmm. We weren't his chosen children. We were grafted in. Mm -hmm. We got it because of their disobedience. Mm -hmm. that's right. We got it because he put a stumbling block in their way just so he could save us. Mm -hmm. The Lord had utterly separated me from his people. He said, I'll say this. Neither let the eunuchs say, Behold, I'm a dry tree. And we know eunuchs are men that they castrated in those days to be with the king's many concubines. Because hey, we can put him over here, ain't there? He can do it. So he's going to take care of them, you know, he's going to watch them, and he's going to report them in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in those, that era, where it was kings that was ruling, the eunuchs were the officials. The eunuchs ruled the country. So they was always in the king's ear telling him stuff. I watch a lot of those Asian dramas. <laughs> so I be watching the eunuchs. And it just, it's just like I read it in history. They always tell me, they set things up. They have plots. The devil used them like he would use anybody else. But the Lord told him, he said, if, you, if you've been done this way, don't give up on me. I want you to. If somebody has took what we say is your manhood, I still love you. See, God made a way for everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbath and choose the things that please me and take hold of my cup. Even if somebody has abused you mm -hmm. in a way that you don't fit, see fit to be who God created you to be. If they've broken you and made you think that you're not a man or you're not a woman. God said, he got something for you. Mm -hmm. Don't believe that lie the devil told. Because a lot of times people get raped. Mm -hmm. They get done wrong mm -hmm. from a child. Mm -hmm. And the devil uses that. He lie dormant in that. Mm -hmm. And he'll wait till they get on up. And he'll start to manifest himself. Yeah. So God said, I got something for you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Even unto them will I give in my house. And within my walls, a place and a name better than of sons and of daughters. He said, I'll make you better than my sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. You have, Well, you done felt like you've been the lowest of the low and that you ain't fit to live. And you probably want to die. He said, I'll raise you above everything. Mm -hmm. I'll raise you above everybody. Jesus. I'll give you a crown of glory. Yes. You will be glorified in my house. Yes. Kings are running to you. Queens, you will be a mother to all. You will be a father to all. Jesus wants those that are broke. Mm -hmm. He wants the broken heart. He came to bind that up. Yeah. Oh, I love him. Yeah. Oh, God, he got something for everybody. Yeah. He leave nobody out. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said it will be better than of sons and of daughters. Mm -hmm. And I will give them an everlasting name. Everlasting, it does not end. Mm -hmm. It does not end. That should not be cut off. Can't nobody take this from you. Can't nobody take this salvation. Can't take talk to a court talk about Rasta. Can't nobody take this hope. Can't nobody take this spirit that I'm giving you. Because I'm making you mine. I'm making you a son and a daughter. If you've been broken, if you've been abused, you're mine. I love you. That wasn't me. I didn't allow it. The devil crept in and done that. But I got a way to bring you back. And his arms are stretched out all the day long. Yes. They are, he want the broken heart. Yes. He want the downtrodden. Yes. He want those that they say they ain't good for nothing. Yes. They ain't going to never be nothing. He's reaching out to you today. Yes. He's reaching out for the lost. Yes. He said, I came to seek and save that which is lost. Yes. If your mind all messed up and you don't know who you are, yes. you being tossed to and fro like a wave that drives out in the sea and comes back in. He said, I'm a mind regulator today. I come to regulate your mind. I got something that'll bring peace to your mind. I got something that'll bring joy. Oh, how the rest of the It'll keep you when you rising up and when you lying down. Glory, how the rest of the Glory to the Lamb of God. You are somebody. And you're mine. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Also, the son of the stranger that joined themselves to the Lord. Your children, your, your, your sons and your daughters. They the sons of the stranger. We strangers. We were. To serve him. You know, we brought him up in the house of God. We done seen him under the spirit. We done seen him rolling. We done seen him prophesy. We done seen most of them speak in tongues. We done seen them when they get out of church. They end up having church. They laying hands on each other. They got a bell, a spoon, a fork, or something. They preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. They imitating everybody shouting in church. Speaking in tongues like sister so-and-so. Hallelujah. They playing the, the piano. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to watch them play that piano. Man, oh, man. I'm talking about the fire was rocking at that little building. I said, I want to play that. And you know, thank God. I'm talking about it was bad. It was rocking. They were live. I'm talking about the crowd. They, they were live. And I remembered all that. We taught our children that. That's what the Lord, he said, the son of the stranger that joined themselves to the Lord to serve him mm -hmm. and to love the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. to be his servant. Mm -hmm. Everyone that keeps the Sabbath from polluting. And they took us to the house of God on the Sabbath day. And sometimes they, it'd be 3 o'clock in the morning we get out of church. Mm -hmm. Coming out that dark tabernacle road. I used to think hell was, I said, it's the end of the world. It was so dark, I'd be in the back of that station wagon. I said, the world, and they preach so much hellfire and brimstone. And so I'd be back there looking for the end. <laughs> it was so dark. I, hey, it was dark. Dark coming out of them woods. Wasn't no lights. Y'all know when no lights back then. They got a couple lights now. But when no lights back then. He said, to keep the Sabbath from polluting it and to take hold of my covenant. Even then will I bring to my holy mountain. I will make them joyful in my house of prayer. The burnt offerings and their sacrifices. The prayers. The prayers. The affectionate, reverent prayer. A prayer. A prayer that, a supplication prayer. You know, when you in supplication, you're going to, you is mourning. You know what I'm saying? You is, your soul is hurt. And you down out, you pouring out your complaint. Like Hannah got picked on so much, she was in there, she was just mouthing it out. Probably because when no words come out. She was so sorrowful, so hurt. Because this demon vexing me every day, because I ain't got no children. She picking at me, even her children picking at me. When you, you in that supplicated prayer, you mourn. You got some real complaints. You sorrow. Your laughter been turned in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing funny no more. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sorrow all the time. Your soul, when you ain't talking, your soul crying. He said, I burnt offerings and I sacrifice. You know, our sacrifice is our offering. Sometimes people come to church and they already know how much they're going to Put an offering. That ain't your sacrifice. That's out of your substance and your abundance. A sacrifice is something that hurts. A sacrifice is something you can't stand to give. When your body tired and you want to go home and lay down, but you know service tonight, your sacrifice is dragging you in. Oh, we got to have street revival. It's too hot out there. I'm about to pass out. My body weak. But something you telling you to go ahead, your sacrifice. Instead of laying out watching on Facebook, you don't cut Facebook off, y'all ain't gonna be stupid doing it. <laughs> I just laying. Glory to God. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Yeah. Ooh, pass on you. <laughs> you pass it out. Glory to God. But your sacrifice is something that it hurt. It ain't something you give out. The woman that cast in her little mic, that was out of all she had. She didn't have nothing else. You know, there was people, probably they come in, they put big offerings in. Oh, Pastor, I got the money, we're going to do this. Deep, we'll I'm going to give you this, I want this done. You know what I'm saying? That ain't a sacrifice. A sacrifice hurt. Your time in prayer, when you getting up at 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 1 a.m., you just lay down at 11. 
and you got to be to work. You got to get up at four to go to work, to get your stuff together, to get the exit. Mm -hmm. But your sacrifice wakes you up at one and won't let you go back to sleep. That's a sacrifice thing. And you're going to drag yourself in there and sometimes you just sleep. Mm -hmm. You get up, you walk around a little bit, you put a cold towel on your face. You trying to Jesus. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm going to just sleep. <laughs> and you get to get saying that meditative prayer, you sleep. Mm -hmm. It's over. You already went to that clock down. <laughs> I know. I know. My legs are going to sleep. I say, oh, Lord, I'm just walking around. I know. But your sacrifice shall be accepted upon mine altar. When you bring a sacrifice, what you sacrificing to God? Brother Terrence is saying a song, saying, who's going to pay the price that Jesus said to pay? Who's going to sacrifice their time? Who's going to fast and pray? I didn't go to Corral over no Saturday. I'm going to go get breakfast and lunch. Because <laughs> if I make it there about 10 o'clock, I could be there when they put lunch out. Oh, no. oh yes. <laughs> Who's going to make that sacrifice? Who's going to push that plate back? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially when somebody in the house frying fish, mm. cooking ribs. God, it's so stinky in here. You got to help me. <laughs> got to put a towel up under the door or something. You know, who's still, who you going to get in the fight? You going to make that sacrifice? Because I'm telling you, it is. When I walk in that lunchroom and they got fried chicken and mashed potatoes and they got broccoli and peach cobbler, Jeez. oh, they done made that sweet tea. And they said, Miss Barbara, you want to play? No, I'm sitting here with my water. They yell and call, Miss Barbara, why you don't never eat? Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. They ain't hungry. I say ain't hungry. <laughs> and they just laugh. But you know, that's between me and the Lord. Because I know what I want. I want Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. Y'all don't want to be like Jesus. I'm talking about really be like Jesus. Be what he told us we can be. See our children and our grandchildren in here tearing the devil up. Mm -hmm. See them on the street corner preaching the gospel. I want what I seen when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I, I just, just watched them go over that little platform. And then the adults, they would be shaking and speaking in tongues. But every time I go over there, I just get a, and I didn't feel nothing. So I go back and sit on my little pedal on the floor with the rest of the children. And I tell the Lord, I want that. Well, I don't ever feel nothing when I... I want to do what they do. But 28 years later, he gave me that. Because I wanted it. I wanted it. I knew it was something. Something was happening. That wasn't no normal stuff. When I, that, you know, they had the columns before the church, you know, the columns over there before we had the iron seat. I seen a man one night hit that column and he kept on getting it. He ain't had no knots. No black eyes. I was amazed. I said, there's something, something going on. <laughs> you know, I was probably about seven or eight, but I was hey, something is happening. <laughs> now, I ain't, might not be smart, but I ain't stupid. <laughs> he was supposed to have an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't have no egg. I don't know who he was, but he hit it so hard it sounded off. I heard it over the music. And you know, they used to be kicking back. <laughs> And then they'll break out and go to preaching again. Yeah. I'm talking about they be asked, set the chairs back up and let's sit down and get some more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is a good God. Mm -hmm. He's a good God. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, you know, bless you with that on the Sabbath day. Um, go with me to Hosea. No, Isaiah. Let's turn over to 57. Right here. 57 and 15. But this is a special day. And all y'all that's making the sacrifice, man, you just don't know. Jesus is up there smiling at the right hand of the Father. Ain't no telling what he gonna do. Because you're willing and obedient. And y'all can be doing anything. Flea market, rummage sale, just laying at home doing nothing. Shopping, you know, just grandkids, whatever. But you got a heart for Jesus. 
You, you got to have one to come in here on Saturday. You got to want to obey his word. You got to want to please him. And that's what it's about, us pleasing him. Pleasing the Lord, not man. This ain't about, you know, well, pastor going to be expecting me. No. Pastor trying to get you where she going. You know what I'm saying? That's all. She's trying to bring you the way she was brought. Is your way that y'all be on this altar for hours? We come here like we have a Sunday morning service. We're going to be having a prayer service. Yeah. Uh, everybody mourning. Right. Everybody crying. Everybody's soul is tough up. Because mm -hmm. we realize what's out there door. We ain't got what it takes right. to stand up to it. And let's right. just be honest with ourselves. Amen. We ain't got what it takes to back that devil down. Because if we did, he wouldn't be wrecking havoc on our children. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the truth anyway. Mm -hmm. I like to be honest with myself. I don't like to tell myself lies. Amen. Deceive myself. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't to deceive anybody. You lie to yourself, you lie to anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, who lies to themselves? Oh, God. Isaiah 57 and verse 15. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabit eternity whose name is holy. Mm -hmm. I dwell in the high and holy place mm -hmm. with him also that is of a contrite and a humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite one. You got to humble yourself down. That's right. You know, we might have had something one time. We ain't got enough. Right. I ain't got what I used to have. I'm trying to get something greater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. You got to humble. You got to know that, hey, you just ain't did it right. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? You, you got caught up with a kid. Mm -hmm. They choked the work the God out of you. Mm -hmm. But you can always go back and pick it back up. Amen. You can always come back and get on these altars. Amen. You can always call one of these sisters or this, the pastor or the co-pastor. And they'll open the door and let you cry inside all you want. Mm -hmm. You can always come back to Jesus. Yeah. Oh, no. You can, as long as we got breath. As long as we rise up, he wake us up. We can always come to Jesus. Amen. He said he's there to revive the heart of the contrite ones, the broken ones, mm -hmm. the sorrowful ones, the, the humble and the meek ones. Mm -hmm. But you ain't going to get it haunted, mm -hmm. prideful, mm -hmm. thinking you know everything. Mm -hmm. A man used to say it's enough in this book to make a brand new world. Can any of us make a brand new world? You don't know everything. I can't make a nothing. <laughs> I'm just not artsy. You know, I might can look at something and kind of sketch it out and make it almost look right. But I ain't got no ideas popping up. That ain't my gift. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't make a brand new world. I don't know everything. I listen to little children at school. They tell me things. Sometimes you should listen. Mm -hmm. If you listen, you'll find out something. Mm -hmm. Look and listen. Yeah. That's why you said watch and then you come pray. Mm -hmm. Now if you're looking, you know what to pray about. Mm -hmm. You know what's going on. You can't just shoot off. You know, I know sometimes we be zealous, but it's time to let the Lord lead us and guide us. They that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. You heard our pastor say she had to pray for months about Sabbath service. Mm -hmm. She didn't just jump up and dream it up in a corner. That's right. No, son, you got to pray. Even, you know, I, I called and I asked her. That don't mean do it. She gonna do it. Mm -hmm. She gotta talk to Jesus. This is his thing. Mm -hmm. We his story. Mm -hmm. We characters in his book. Mm -hmm. He wrote the chapter. Mm -hmm. right. You know, he know who's supposed to be in the chapter. Mm -hmm. That's why Brother Jeff said everybody here supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. He, already, he wrote y'all in his story. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You gotta look at it like that. I, I like I used to like to read books. You know, fiction, because that was my way of escaping the reality of what I was seeing. Amen. But all fiction ain't good fiction. Amen. Some of that fiction will mess you up. Amen. So I don't want to read it. <laughs> I don't want to go to the library no more. I tried. About a, maybe about a month ago, I had me three books. Because I can read three books in a day and a half. Amen. Yep, I read them all day and all night. Mm -hmm. But those three books, they became overdue. And so I kept saying, I had to take these back to the library. And it was Christian fiction. Mm -hmm. One of them Christian fiction really miss you. <laughs> Maybe right. <laughs> Maybe somebody else true, but you know. 
But I ended up taking them back because I don't have that desire no more. I prayed and I asked God to take that desire from me. Stuff that I know is contrary or that's going to knock me off of my steadfastness, that's going to bring me under bondage. Like Paul said, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. Because some of the stuff will break me under bondage. Some of the stuff will make doubt come in. Some of the stuff will bring in fear. Your faith will waver. Because you're spending time doing this. And you're not spending time with your faith in That's right. Amen. Go with me to Hosea chapter 6. God is a good God. Amen. He gonna revive us. We being revived. Mm -hmm. Ain't no he gonna. We are being revived. Amen. Ho Hosea um, chapter 6. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, for we done got some rivers. And he will heal us. You ever, your mama or daddy ever give you a, uh, we ain't get no spanking, we got a whooping, a beat. And then they hug you and tell you they love you. Then they want to put some grease on your welt. <laughs> and you're like, how you love me? You hit me like that. <laughs> I couldn't even sit up. You <laughs> talking about, I tell you, my mama, she'll come in the bathtub on you oh, with a switch. Oh, my I picked that habit up. But my children got smart. They locked the door. <laughs> you ain't even to come in here and we just slide all over the shop. We ain't nothing with that switch. <laughs> so I said, oh, baby, that ain't such a good idea. They might break something and slide up. They slide and I'm trying to get them. But you know, the Lord, he said, you know, he had to chasten us now. Mm -hmm. uh, disobedient mm -hmm. by our rebellion, by our stubbornness. And some of it just plain on laziness. Amen. Just slothful, just don't want to. They said no. Amen. Lisa, he'll heal us. Mm -hmm. He had smitten. Mm -hmm. He will bind us up. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm telling you, them parents, they put that, now they put antibiotic ointment on you. But they keep you home because they ain't not because you can't go to school like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the folks going to be at your door. After two days, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Mm -hmm. And then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. So the only way we're going to know Jesus, he said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. he, he revived us. I mm -hmm. think all of us have been revived. Mm -hmm. But we got to follow on to know him. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people come to the altar, they get in the prayer line. The Lord break yokes. Mm -hmm. And then you don't see them no more. Because they don't follow on That's right. to know the Lord. Just because you got anointed with joy. That's just the. I don't know them little drop of They drop that little mess out there. One little drop. You got to come back and keep getting. Your cup got to run over. Mm -hmm. You got to get so much to your cup run over. Mm -hmm. You can't just come in here and get a yoke broke. And think the devil ain't out there with seven of his partners. Mm -hmm. And they got seven more yokes. Mm -hmm. And they got some chains and feathers too. Mm -hmm. They don't wrap you up like a mummy. Mm -hmm. You're going to be like that man on Get Out sitting down in the dark and can't say nothing. That's how it be. He binds you up just like that. Y'all seen that movie Get Out? No, y'all was looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to see it. You know, that man, that lady did that hypnotizing stuff on him. And like he... Like his spirit man was in the dark. He couldn't speak. He couldn't ask for help. That's how the devil binds up somebody in a man. Mm -hmm. I done looked in plenty of people's eyes and seen their inner man bound up. He in there crying, hoping somebody see him. Hoping for deliverance because he needs some help mm -hmm. to get that bondage off. But if we keep coming to this house of prayer or any house of prayer, wherever the men and women of God are, and you get yokes broke off, you know you feel free. You got to come back and get some strength. Mm -hmm. You got to get hooked up with a seasoned saint. Mm -hmm. You got to get hooked up with a prayer warrior. Yeah. Somebody that's making a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. 
Not somebody that's just on the phone want to talk you to death. Because if you don't fall on and know the Lord, that devil, he going to yoke you back up and it's going to be worse. The Bible said the latter state of that man is worse than the former. That's why sometimes I don't bother people. Because the Lord let you know they ain't ready. And if that power in you, that's why we got to know how to use it. Break that yoke. But they still love their dance party. They're going to be messed up. And then you're going to have to bear that in mind. But God want to revive us. We got to fall on and know him. And Matthew 11, 28 and 30. I love Jesus. I love his word. Because it's right. And you can live by this. I'm talking about, you can you know how people... Before we had all these land laws, and I own this and I own that, they would take a stake and claim their land. Well, you can put a stake right now, and this don't move. Can't nobody steal it. Once it's written up on the table of your heart, can't nobody steal this. They ain't steal your car. They might rob you and steal your wallet, but they cannot steal this out your heart. They can't steal the word of God. When it's written up on the table of your heart, nobody can get that. He said, bind it about your neck. Mm -hmm. Write it up on the table of your heart. So shall you find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take this from you. He said, come all you that are labored and heavy laden. And he'll give you rest. Mm -hmm. You got to come to Jesus. Broken, humble. You got to come to him. He's the only one that'll give us rest. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that has died for your soul. Yes. He's the only one that has paid the price. Yes. He's the only one that laid his life down. Yes. You think anybody we know would lay their life down for us? I ain't met no, well, I did. I met a man one night, and there was some stuff going on. And I, was, I couldn't jump out the window off the second floor. <laughs> And somehow he ended up in the same room that I was in. Well, he went with me, but he ended up in there. And he looked out the window, and he looked back over there at me. He said, you can't jump out there, can you? I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. But when the door came open, all I see was the barrel of a gun. And so I said, well, I'm just dead. I didn't close my eyes. But it was taking too long for whatever happens when you're dead to happen. <laughs> I ain't never died, so I don't know, but it was taking mighty long, so I figured I'd try to look and see what was going on. And honey, him, and whoever they was in a war room. And I heard this scripture. It said, no greater love a man had than to lay down his life for his friend. He was my friend. I was 18 years old. I didn't know nothing about no Jesus, and I don't know why he said that. But I heard it just as plain as I was watching them in an all-out battle rail trying to get that good. But I thank God, so I can't say <laughs> a man won't lay down his life for me. But from that moment forward, my heart was knit to his. He was my best friend. I would be on the other side of the earth, and if his sister called me and she told me she couldn't find him, stop, I got to go. God is a good God. Yes, but nobody would love you like Jesus. That was Jesus saving me. Mm -hmm. I told you, I've done a lot of stuff in this life, but God always placed people around me to spare my life. Amen. To keep me, because boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thank God for Jesus. Amen. And I know he done done it for you all. Mm -hmm. He's doing it for our children right now. Many at nights, they in perils, but they ain't going to tell you. Many a nights they lie on the line. Right. They ain't going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. They'll go tell somebody else. They'll go find them rest somewhere else. Yeah. But because of the affectionate, fervent prayer of a righteous man, because of those that are making the sacrifice right. on the altar, yeah. they being killed. Right. And I thank God for Jesus. Mm -hmm. I thank him because, man, he's a good God. Y'all yeah. yeah. give him a hand clap of praise. Yeah. Go with me to Hebrew chapter 10. I have about three more scriptures. 
They all in Hebrew. I love Jesus. Man, he he been looking at me and out for me for a mighty long time. Mm -hmm. When I was about 12 years old, my daddy was staying on Dirt Road on Vessel Street. We lived in a duplex, in a little apartment here, apartment there. And this little guy, he boarded up all the windows and all the doors, and he threw cocktails in on my bed. Set our apartment on fire when we went at home. Tell you, the devil been trying to snuff me out for a long time. Long, long, long time. But God, Jesus just had put it in my dad's heart. He said, y'all want to go stay with y'all grandma? So we like, yeah, we'll go stay at our grandma's house. Had we would have been home, we would have been looking like them clothes that was on that hanger. Just ashy. But God is a keeper. The devil done laid traps and snares all throughout your life. But Jesus, he's so merciful. He already had a plan. He already chose you for this day. That's why you ought to praise him because he chose you. Many are called, but few are chosen. Chosen vessels ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. I don't care what you go through. You ain't going nowhere till you do what he chose you to do. You ought to give him a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad he chose me. Mm -hmm. I could have been extinct a long time ago, but he chose me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 22. He says, let us draw near with a true heart. Yes. Get all the deceit out of the way. Yes. All the trickery. Yes. You know, sometimes when you get in prayer, you got to clear your mind, which is your, we call the heart, your mind of everything. You have to search your mind out. See if you're not told any lies. See whatever, yeah, because you don't tell a lie. Mm -hmm. Somebody catch you off guard, you'll say no when it's supposed to be yes. yes. <laughs> you will tell part truth mm -hmm. and telling the part truth is a lie because the devil told Eve part truth mm -hmm. he told Jesus part truth but he's still a liar he was a liar from the beginning mm -hmm. he said let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith you gotta have faith mm -hmm. it is impossible to please him if you if when we get down to pray if you have to stay there and build up your faith Build up in your confidence that what you say in the God, that he is doing it right then and right now. That he's the right now God. You got to have that faith when you come to him. We don't pray just to hear ourselves talking. I, I, I want to see some results. You know, you said you would. You said you would. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. All this stuff I'm going through, I ain't just looking to live down here. I'm looking for something great, something Amen. God, something Amen. good. God, what has been happening to me? I be getting it. Amen. <laughs> hey, hey, and He said, if you suffer with Him, you're gonna reign with Him. So I'm expecting the rain. He said it, the former and the latter rain. He is the beginning and Amen. the end. So I want it all. Amen. <laughs> you know, you gotta be like that. Mm -hmm. You, what are you serving Him for? Just to have stuff down here. I'm serving him to get into that building, that new city that he built. Man, they talk about them mansions. Hey, I want me a ranch style. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, hey, I'm already putting in my request. He said, ask and you shall receive. And he know how to build the best one ever. Amen. He said, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance and faith, mm -hmm. having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience mm -hmm. and our bodies washed with pure water. Mm -hmm. Having our hearts, our mind, mm -hmm. sprinkled from that evil conscience. Mm -hmm. That's why he tells us, be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind. This word is the only thing going to renew your mind. Amen. He said, you clean through the word that I've spoken Amen. unto you. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. That word, how can a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed to the word of God. When you see yourself in error, turn about face, march right on in the arm of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You got to get this word mm -hmm. and let it cleanse your mind. Yeah. When my mind all tore up, I got a Bible app. If my eyes don't want to read and my body says, no, I'm not going to sit up, it's all right. Turn this up on. You're going to hear it anyway. Amen. It's going to put it right here by my ear. I turn it down and it don't disturb Brother Jeff. Because he can sleep through Noah's Ark storm. <laughs> I'll be up, down, round and round. And he'd just be like, ain't nothing happening in the spirit realm. <laughs> and I'll be catching but I put that word on, because that word will calm your spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after that word, I get to hearing it so much, I start praying it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I start building up my most holy faith, mm -hmm. praying in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And then I'm asleep. But that word getting there, it, it calms my mind. Whatever's worn in my mind, that word will clean it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm telling you, the word is so important. We can pray, pray, we can pray, we can pray. But this is the only thing going to make you believe. Mm -hmm. Faith coming by hearing. Mm -hmm. And hearing by the word of God. If you have to go in your bathroom and read it out loud to yourself, let it echo off the walls. I don't know why bathrooms echo. Maybe it's the ceramic tubs or something like that that make that sound. But let it bounce back into you. Mm -hmm. You speaking it, and it's bouncing back. Mm -hmm. Let us hold fast to profession of our faith without wavering. Mm -hmm. He said, believe and doubt not. If the Lord told you something, just believe it. I'm telling you, I'll be going down with the devil about my son. That ain't what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. He's going to preach this gospel. Mm -hmm. He's going to play wonderfully on that instrument in the congregation of the righteous. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say. I don't care what he do. Mm -hmm. That's not what God said. Mm -hmm. The devil come to my mind to torment me about that. You know, he'll have him to call me, and he be all in disarray. And Brother Jeff get a phone, and so he ain't talking about that. <laughs> you ain't going to disturb her. But I go in and I pray, because I can hear. You know, and it causes me to pray. It causes me to tell the devil where to get off. It causes me to bind them forces in that prison. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why he said, watch and pray. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to hear her just a little bit. And you don't know what to pray. But you got can't waver. I don't care what nobody doing. If God has given you a promise, stand on it. Stand on the promise that they cannot fail. He can't lie. Jesus cannot lie. He's, ain't no lying in him. For he is faithful that promise. You have his word. Go to chapter 4. <laughs> 4 and 14 Seeing then that we have a great high priest That is passed into the heavens Jesus the son of God mm -hmm. Let us hold fast our profession mm -hmm. Why do you think he's telling us to hold fast our profession? Because it's things that come To try to make you doubt mm -hmm. It's things that come that, that try. That, well it will knock you off your steadfastness If you ain't rooted Grounded and established in this word. Amen. It will throw you for a loop. It's things that make you buckle down, but that word will pick you back up. Amen. Only because the word in there. If I had not had the word in certain situations, and I would be a castaway. I would have went back. You would have went back. Mm -hmm. But that word girded up your line. Yeah. It strengthened you. It held you together when you were falling apart. It's a drink and a break stand up. Mm -hmm. It told you to shout. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise me till I come. Mm -hmm. Victory is yours. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. But we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity, mm -hmm. but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Mm -hmm. Jesus sitting at the right hand of God, telling him, I paid for that, Father. Mm -hmm. I paid for that. That night they was out all night on that flight. I paid for that. Mm -hmm. Or oh, what caused their bodies to break down and tear up. I paid for that. Yeah. When I was at that whipping post, you remember that? When I turned my back to the smiters, I did that for her. Yeah. I did that for him. Yes. I did that. Yes. I came down. You said you, it wasn't no man. 
to go on their bond. But I said, I know. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'll come down. I'll leave my place in yeah. glory. I'll walk as a man. Jesus. I'll suffer what they suffer. Yeah. I'll feel what, oh, what they feel. It. And I'm going to do it, Jesus. I'm going to die for them. I'm going to give my life. And I'm going to pick it back up. Yeah. So they can rise with me. Hallelujah. Oh! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I love him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He said, but he was an all points tempted. Sometimes we tempt it with money. And the Bible tells us the love of money is the root of all evil. Money will make you wear your body out. Money will make you do some strange things. That's why you don't need to love him. That's why he said, I give you the ability to get wealth. He says, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and add no sorrow to it. One man said, Lord, feed me with bread that's convenient for me. Because if I'm rich, I'm going to walk away from it. If I'm poor, I might steal some. But give me what I can have. God is good. I'm telling you, it's something in this book. <laughs> it's something in this book. It'll get you the glory. You can live by this. Hallelujah. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy yeah. and find grace to help in a time of need. Mm -hmm. We need mercy. Mm -hmm. That's why he tells us, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Mm -hmm. You got to be merciful to people. Yeah. And you can't judge. Judge not, least you be judged. But what measure you meet? Guess what? <laughs> Hello. I'm back at your house. Yeah. When you talk about somebody else's children out here and what they're doing, Come on. Come on. hey, son and daughter, yeah, thank us again. May it happen. Right. What measure you meet. When you talk about somebody falling short, that's who falls short next. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Guess what? I know. Yeah. I've done that. Hallelujah. I kept saying, why are you telling me to judge? Not at least I beat you. <laughs> Bound that way. Yeah. In real time. Right. That word is right. Yeah. And you can live by it. He said, let us therefore come boldly. You can go to Jesus about anything. Mm -hmm. And he's going to give you grace and mercy. Yeah. He's going to give you help. He ain't going to turn you away. He ain't going to tell you not right now. Mm -hmm. But he said, cast all your care upon me, for I care for you. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that died for you. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that care about you. Mm -hmm. I care about your mind, body, and soul. Every aspect of who you are, I care about that. Yeah. I'm concerned about you. I'm your way maker. Yeah. I'm your mind regulator. Yes. I'm your healer. Yeah. I'm your provider, your yeah. deliverer. That's me, Jesus. Yeah. That's me. Mm -hmm. And that's all we got to do is call him. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. You, One more scripture, Hebrews 11 and 6. I love it. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You just got to taste him. You taste him in that word. You taste him by eating them scriptures. Just get along a long time. I used to sit on the porch. We stayed in a boarding house. The man downstairs, okay, the man, we had no money. The man came and took our, took the top, the toilet in the shower. He <laughs> left the toilet. He left the shower. <laughs> The man came and we couldn't pay, so he came and took our shower, just removed it and took it somewhere. Mm, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm telling you, we had to go through some stuff, man. And so the man down there, he was somebody down there was smoking. The man over him, he was running prostitute, Jesus. and all night long I was seeing devils. <laughs> But God, you know what I'm saying? God is a good God. That's why I look down on the floor, I see a devil coming up. I pray him back down. <laughs> I look at the wall, one coming through the wall. I jump up, I pray him back on the other side. Hey, I don't ever get to go to sleep. But I thank God for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You're you going to go through some things. 
And so I like to go outside. We was up on the top, so we had like a little balcony top thing. And I would go out there in the morning, and I would drink me a cup of coffee, and I would read my Bible, and I would sing to the Lord. I would sing to the Lord, and I would tell him to make the trees bow down. All of a sudden, them trees would get to bow. I'm telling you, man, God is awesome. His creation testifies to his glory. I'll be singing, and they'll be dancing. When I move, they move. When I go forward, they go forward. I'm talking about we will have a good time on that balcony. The Lord has shown me his power. He has shown me all you got to do is speak his word. But you can't speak it if you don't get in there. And if you don't get in there, you'll never believe it. You know, Brother Jeff tell you we got some crazy things. The house that was given to us, I went and walked around that house seven times. But he said, Caleb said, if I walk around this mountain, sometimes you don't give me this mountain. I said, I'm going to walk around this house. Give me this house, Jesus. And I walked around that house, and that lady gave us that house. You got to work the word. The word lives you in the measure that you practice. It lives in you in the measure that you practice. You got to practice. I'll try it. You say, you Jesus almighty, and I can do this. I'm just going to try you. He said, prove me. Try me. Yeah. See if I won't open up the windows and pour you out a blessing that you ain't got a room enough to receive. Y'all don't stop proving God with pastor. <laughs> I'll speak me one on it on you. <laughs> Cause he said, prove me. I ain't, hey, I ain't the pastor. I'm gonna find somebody that I hey, agree with me. He said, I'm proving God, and that's all we gotta talk about. Mm -hmm. We agree, and that's it, that's all. And you gotta try God. This word works. Yeah. This word is wonderful. Yeah. Man, this is life. Yeah. You got the power. Yeah. You got the power to create. Yeah. You can decree a thing. And he said he'll do it. Yeah. You got to believe it though. You got to believe you got that. And if you've been born again, you got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I don't care if your Holy Ghost that small. He end up. Okay. You can do this. Yeah. He wants you to do this. He said, if you believe, you can cast out devils. Mm -hmm. If you believe, if you drink or, any, drink or eat any deadly thing, it won't hurt you. If you believe. You can lay hands on the sick and they share a cup. Yeah. The common believer. Yeah. This is what he gave us. Yeah. He said, if you believe, yeah, just it. believe me. Just he said, I go away. And I'm going to send that comforter. Uh -huh. The works that I do, great mm -hmm. works you should do, because I got to go. Amen. It's a lot of you. Y'all can get a lot accomplished. Mm -hmm. You can do this. This is mm -hmm. what he give you. Mm -hmm. This is the power yeah. to go out there and win the world mm -hmm. to Christ. Yeah. Not to a building, mm -hmm. but to Christ. Because when you went on to Christ, something happens on the inside. Amen. And that's what he give us this power to do. Yeah. Right. Let me tell you. I told Brother Jeff, you know, they they they, they said I was allergic to that chicken. Now I'm finna eat me some chicken. So he said, if I eat any drinking a deadly thing, that's eating too. It ain't gonna hurt me. I ain't got time to be not eating no chicken. I love chicken. Yeah. I've been eating chicken all my life. Who, who, you know, so that's that's the devil. <laughs> I eat chicken three times a day, and I, I've been suffering. I don't like beef like that. I'm, like, I'm going to bless this one and eat me some chicken. And no, Justin, don't do it. <laughs> I'm about to sneak off and work my thing. <laughs> God is good. He is so good. I'm telling you, he is a good God. Amen. Chapter 11 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. But he that comes to God must believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I want all my rewards. I want it, what you serving him for if you don't want the reward? I'm not going to say give my reward to somebody else. All the stuff I went through, I want my stuff. Amen. Yeah. All the suffering I went through, you think I want to give my reward away? No. I want my reward. Amen. Yeah, well, uh, why else am I suffering? Why else am I going through? He said, you're going to have tribulation in this world, but be of good cheer. I overcame. 
And he just told us, I was tempted in all points, just like you. Yeah. But I overcame the world, and you can too. Amen. You can overcome all this stuff, yeah. because I did it for you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, yeah. give us a hand clap and pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Lord, we thank you so much for this time on this Sabbath day, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your word. We love you so much, Jesus. Oh, we can't make it without you. We need you. We ain't playing church. We really do need you. God, we need you to work some things out in our life. We need you to fix some situations. And most of all, we need you to fix our enemy. God, do something for us. God, help us to keep striving to enter in that straight gate. Help us to keep pressing, Lord, no matter what comes, no matter how the winds blow, no matter how the rains beat. Lord, but help us on today, Jesus. Help us to keep going on in your word. Help us, Lord, that we can get in a place with you and call upon your name. God, and feel heaven come down. We can call you till we feel a heavenly host enter the room. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, and bless this, thy people. God, bless this house. Lord, keep preparing the people in this house, Jesus. God, because you get ready to send a multitude that don't know you. God, is somebody got to be that living example. God, let the top of the la country la conchon la maya. Overshadow this house, Lord. Yeah, no sin or robo kusiana na na mahaya. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lamb of God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on and reach out with us, saints. If anybody need prayer, you can come forward. Brother Barbara and I was seeking the Lord. We always praying and reaching out, coming aside for the services. And the Lord spoke to him during Monday night prayer. And he told him, he said, whatever people desire, when you give them this handkerchief, I'm going to do it. So I didn't say anything. And man, Wednesday night we was praying. And I had set a couple of them off to the side. And the Lord came down. Oh my God, he came down on that prayer line. And the Lord said, whatsoever you ask, you shall receive. And he let me know as I was driving here the other day, it was a confirmation that what I said to your husband when he was anointing those handkerchiefs. That spirit that I placed in there, Jesus. I put the same spirit upon the ones that you were praying. Jesus. God is a good God. You Amen. can't beat him. Give him a hand clap of praise. God, I love y'all. And I thank God that someone saw the need for us to be able to purchase some more handkerchiefs because I want you to give your family some. Mm -hmm. God is a keeper yes. and he is a deliverer yes. and he loves us all. This ain't no Stuff we just dream up in a corner. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. We got time to be playing church. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the church. Mm -hmm. That's my declaration. I'm going to be the house mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. And I want him to use us in whatever measure he see fit. Yeah. I don't want to be this or that. I just want to be whatever you want to do with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this word. Amen. I mean, enjoy the word. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. Pastor, I can remember about probably about 20 years ago, a, a little more. I think it's been about that long. And um, I was at my sister's house, and and my cousin and a friend of mine, they um they wanted to go swimming. And um, I said, okay, we'll go. Pastor, my brother wanted to go, and I said, um, I told my cousin, I said, man, if he going, I don't want to go. And um, so they kept on, they kept on, so anyway, my brother went. Not knowing that when, how God worked, you know, God is a good God. Amen. Okay, no man take the credit for what God do. Uh -huh. He's a good God. He knows everything. Yeah. And we went and went swimming and we went down there to this creek called the um I think it's the what's the name? Spring Creek. It's like going to Bainbridge. When you go to Bainbridge, you go past in Brunson, that creek right there. A lot of people done died at that creek. I'm 
talking about friends all were going to die that we know. And when you go across that creek, it, it, it looked like it's, you can do it. When you look at it, you're like, yeah, I can do that. But when you swim and you go across that creek, it got an undertake on it, what you don't see. It spins and it'll take you on that key. And uh, so my cousin them jumped in and I jumped in behind them and I began to swim and I was swimming, Pastor. I'm talking about I was swimming, swimming down up. And man, I started going under. And my cousin in front of me, my brother, he was I, he was still on the um on the bank. And um so I'm swimming and I done went under. And man, I tried to grab my cousin to, to get him, he knocked my hand back. And so, Pastor, when I went under, I, I came back up and I, and, I, and I hollered. And that was my last holler. When I went back down, this is a true story. This ain't nothing, no fairy tale. <laughs> this is a true story. When I went back down, I knew I couldn't come back up no more. So I looked up one more time and I saw a big old light. Mm. It was a big, bright light. Hallelujah. And it wasn't the sun. It was a big old bright light. And when I saw that light, I said, I just dropped my head like this right here. Because I knew it was over. My cousin knocked my hand by it. He couldn't save me. So, you know, I hollered. My brother, I don't know where he was at. When I dropped my head, I just started going down like this right here. I had gave up. Yeah. And man, probably about two or three minutes later, I felt something. I'm talking about this, this deep. I'm talking about real. It was so deep, Pastor. It was black down there. It was black, it was so deep, I'm talking about way up there. And man, when I, I felt something, grabbed the bottom of my leg, my ankles, and, I sh and it started shooting me back up. Um, you know, just, just I'm talking about, I'm, I'm shooting up like this right here. Yeah. And man, I, when I got up, I turned around and looked, <laughs> you know, about to die, I looked, it was my brother right there. That same brother. Hallelujah. 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 God, you can't tell me Jesus ain't good. Amen. But if I, you know, the devil, he didn't want my brother to go. But my brother came and he saved my life. Amen. God had him to save my life. Amen. That's a blessing in the church. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my brother. Amen. But this, that's my brother, my blood brother. Huh. My oldest brother. Amen. God good ain't the same. Amen. 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 I've been really glad that brother jumped in. Amen. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you in your presence. Lord, you said when two or three come in your name, Lord, you there. And God, my sister got a need. And Lord, you the need fulfilled. You fulfilled every need. God, go down in her soul. Lord, what she been hurting. Lord, what she been trying to get to you. And she came. Lord, because something had a block. 
But Lord, I come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I plead your blood all over her life. Lord, she's been through something as a young child. But Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Thank you for peace and joy and righteousness. Oh God, you covered it all. Because you went on that cross and you died. And Lord, you raised and you rose up on that third day with all power in your hand. Lord, this is your child. This is the one you went on that cross for and that blood you shed. Lord, for her. And God, I'm asking you right now to break these yokes off of her life. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I plead the blood over her life. I decree it in heaven. In Jesus' name. God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. In the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. God finna work some things out. Jesus. He, you finna be loose. Jesus. You finna be free. Jesus. You finna be free. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh my God. He freeing you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The devil had a hand on you, but the devil got to let go. Yes. In Jesus' name. Oh, halabahas, halabahoye. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God, in Jesus' name. Oh, how I you. He been seeing you trying to pray. You been praying, and you been telling God you want to be free. Hallo boho stala bahaya. Hallo boho stala bahaya. Hallo boho stala bahaya. Oh, you free today, sister. You free today. I feel this power going in you. I feel power going in you. Oh, hallo boho stila bahaya. Oh, kaba bahaya la bahaya. Satan, you can't have her no no more. She belonged to Jesus. She belonged to Jesus. Get your hands off of her life. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus from her head to her toes. In Jesus' name, you loose. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. God finna give you your house back. Hallelujah. He finna give you everything that, you, that, he, that the devil took from you. He finna give it back to you, sister. He finna give you everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Jesus. He finna give it back to you. Yes. People looked at you, looked down on you, talked about you. Oh, holla, oh, host, holla, But God finna give you your happiness back, yes. your joy, your peace. In the name of Jesus. Oh, holla, oh, host, holla, God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray. And God, we thank you. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 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 I see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to be all right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. God, good name. Lord, I thank you for my brother. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'm asking you right now, Father, move for him. God, move, Lord, by your spirit and by your power. Lord, he want the Holy Ghost. I know. He want the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Lord, he want to walk this way. He's doing all he can. But the devil trying to block him, but the devil's alive. I plead the blood of Jesus over his life. I plead the blood of Jesus on my brother. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the same way you save me, save my brother. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, if you have to take him and, and move him in another town like you did me, Lord, do it like you did Abraham. Lord, you told Abraham to give among his people. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, if it's they will to be together, Lord, let it be so. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. That they can be some devil chasers. Yes. Lord, that they can chase the devil. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus over his life. I plead the blood of Jesus over his life. Lord, let it be the man, Lord, that you had him to be. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, glory.
Jesus. Lord, and we thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh glory. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes. Well, I'm finna do something for you too, bro. Yes. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, he finna open up the windows of heaven. Hallelujah. And he finna pull you out of blessing. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. He finna help you. He finna give you a truck. I see a truck. He finna give you a truck, what you need. Jesus. Hallelujah. And he know, he know your desire. Yes. He know what you desire. Ah. He gonna do that for you. Oh, glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Don't and stop worrying about how you gonna stop doing this and doing that. Just give it to Jesus. Yes. And he gonna do it. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. And don't worry about your friends. He gonna, they gonna disappear too. The ones that you so call. Oh, Abba Hasta La Bahaye. Nikeo the Bohosta La Bahaya. Shin Shin La Bakada Bahote La Bahaya. You just there for a moment, bro. Where you at? God finna bring you up to higher heights. And you finna have to see some deeper depths in Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You think you're gonna be there in that little spot forever, but you ain't gonna be there. There's just a little spot right now for you can get in touch and get closer to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I see you riding high. Hallelujah. I see you riding high in the Lord. Jesus. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In, Jesus name. in, Jesus name. Oh. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And read your Bible. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. And I love you. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. God good, ain't he?
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, she won't pray for her little cousin. Lord, I pray, God, that you move for her little cousin, Father. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, move for her daddy. Lord, save her daddy. Lord, dry the devil off his life. Lord, matter of fact, I'm going to ask you, Jesus, Lord, to shake his foundation. Lord, it's the foundation that he owns, you shake it. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That he can become, start coming to the house of God. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else? God is good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Ain't no one else. Don't be ashamed not to come. Just come. Jesus. You got a situation, God can work it out. I don't care what it is. Now, what is your situation? Hmm? You just want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Lord, you bless this little baby. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless her little happy soul. Yes, Lord. Lord, she loved to be in your presence. Yes, and Lord, you bless her. Yes, Lord. And Lord, move for her mom and her dad yes, too. Jesus. Father, in the name of yes, Jesus. Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Jesus. Save them. Draw them by your spirit and your power. Yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Lord, let this little baby, Lord, go home and lay hands on her mama. And lay hands on her dad. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Lord, we thank you. Yes, thank you, she ain't going to do it. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Mm, this is a happy baby, too. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, all your little babies. Yes, Lord, I know you raised them up yes, for a time as this. Yes, Lord, you say even the little baby's going to be with us. Yes, God, and I pray that your hand be upon yes, her little Jesus. life. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Lord, bless her little soul. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. God, in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord. You drive all this out, fix yes. all of this, Lord. Yes. God, she was born just like Jehaziel, Lord. Yes. And God, you done gave him miracle after miracle. You done gave her miracle after miracle. Lord, go down in her respiratory system, Lord. Yes. God, you fix all of this. Her voice, yes. her digestive, yes. Yes. Ooh, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Lord, we decree. That her body be made whole. Yes, Lord. It's in no sandala. Kilo unshte ungenshta. Kemo untusturete. And Lord, you give her clarity in her speech. In Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to just pray for you, brother Kyrie. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this young man. Yes, yes, I thank you for the, the step. And the, yes, thank you for the, the stand that he took, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, in Jesus' name. Yes. Lord, I know you raised him up for this reason, Lord. Yes, you raised him up, Lord, for to be a devil chaser. Yes. 
God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you keep him covered. You keep him covered, Lord. Lord, I know he probably fight different spirits, Lord, because we all do. But, Lord, you give him something from on high. God, give him something that he can continue to fight for. Me. In the name of Jesus, oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, man, I feel Jesus. God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Move, Lord, by your spirit. Move by your power, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I see the devil been trying to fight you, Brother Kyrie. Oh, hallelujah. But he ain't got no win. Oh, hallelujah, because you got people praying for you. But he's been fighting you on both ends. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. God going to give you something today. He's going to pour something in your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, not only pour something, Jesus, but seal him. God, seal my brother. Seal him, Jesus, because you raised him up for this time. Seal him, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I decree it in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, good. God, do it. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Anyone else need prayer? Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody need God to do something special in their lives? Hallelujah. Ain't that too hard for God. Amen. I ain't gonna hold the service though. If you don't you need prayer, right? All right. You want want a handkerchief? Prayer handkerchief? Come on, get it. Come on, get it.
Oh, glory. Amen. Pastor, you got anything you want to say? Lord, for this service. Yes. Thank you for the pastor of this house. Thank you for Dee. Thank you for everyone. That's in their respective place, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we love you. Lord, we enjoy this word. We feast off of it. Thank you, Lord. It's been a blessing to my soul. Oh, hallelujah. God, I thank you, Jesus, Lord. And I'm asking you, Lord. Lord, those seeds were failed today, Lord. Let them fall on good them that yes. they fell on good ground. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank Glory you. to the